Assalamualaikum. Today, I want to discuss about pre-lab experiment 3. Learning outcomes. At the end of this lesson, students should be able to explain how electrochemical cell is constructed. Arrange the metal in an electrochemical series. State the differences between e naught reduction and e naught cell. State the differences between e naught cell and e cell. Determine the factors affecting the quantity of product during electrolysis and to suggest precursor step to improve the accuracy of the data. What is the main difference between galvanic cell and electrolytic cell? For galvanic cell, it converts chemical energy to electrical energy from spontaneous redox reaction. For electrolytic cell, convert from electrical energy to chemical energy to drive a non-spontaneous reaction to occur. For electrolytic cell, we use power supply as electrical energy. How are the inode values determined using inode cell measured? From this example, the half cell of zinc are coupled to standard hydrogen electrode or she under standard condition, concentration of electrolyte is 1 molar, pressure of gas is 180 m and temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. For this example, we can see that voltmeter reading is 0.76 volt. By using the formula, E naught cell is equal to E naught cat minus E naught A naught, we can determine the values of E naught reduction for zinc. For this example, negative terminal is anode and positive terminal is cathode. So, E0 cell for this experiment is 0.76 volt. E0 cat is hydrogen. Value E0 reduction for hydrogen is 0. So, we write 0 minus E0 anode. So, we can get E0 for zinc to plus zinc is equal to positive, uh, sorry, is equal to negative 0.76 volt. What is the difference between standard electrode potential, E0 reduction, and standard cell potential, E0 cell? Standard electrode potential or E0 reduction is the potential of half cell to undergo reduction as compared to standard hydrogen electrode, she under standard condition, concentration of electrolyte is 1 molar, pressure of gas is 180 m and temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. While standard cell potential, E0 cell, is the potential difference between two half cells under standard condition, concentration of electrolyte is 1 molar, Pressure of gas is 180 m and temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. E0 cell is the difference between E0 cathode and E0 anode. E cell is the potential difference between the two half cell measured under non-standard condition. Write an equation to show the relationship between E cell and E0 cell. We can write the formula. E cell is equal to E0 cell minus RT over NF ln Q. Ln Q is reaction quotient means that concentration of the product over concentration of the reactant. Or we can write the formula at 25 degrees Celsius E cell equal to E0 cell minus 0 0.0592 over N log Q. Procedure of experiment. What does the voltmeter reading in this experiment represent? It represents the potential difference or cell voltage between the two half cell or we call as E cell. Explain how to determine anode and cathode from the setup of the electrolytic cell. In electrolytic cell, the negative electrode is cathode and the positive electrode is anode refer to the electrolytic cell setup. What are the precautions that need to be taken in carrying out this experiment? 
the metal in part A are thoroughly clean using the abrasive paper so that the oxide of impur or impurities of the metal are removed from the surface. Ensure that the voltmeter reading that is taken correspond to the correct scale. Voltmeter used in the lab have two scale or 0.5 volt or 0.1 volt. What are the precautions that need to be taken in carrying out this experiment? The metal in part A are thoroughly clean using the abrasive paper so that oxide or impurities of the metal are removed from the surface. Ensure that the voltmeter reading that is taken correspond to the correct scale. In lab, we are using voltmeter 0.5 volt and 0.1 volt. Precaution step for part B. Ensure that all the device needed in this experiment, for example, transformer, emitter and stopwatch are functioning. Before start the experiment, both electrodes in the electrolytic cell stay apart during the electrolysis and not in contact. Handle the copper electrode with care so that the posited copper will not fall off. Ensure that the copper electrode is completely dry before weighing. Data analysis. The table below shows the standard reduction potential of several half cells. Arrange the species in order of increasing strength of reducing agent. The more negative E0 values, the easier for the species to lose electron. So means that oxidation process occur. Thus, stronger as reducing agent. The most electronegative values is aluminium. And then Fe solid. So when we arrange according to the increasing strength of reducing agent, the most positive is Fe2+, less than I-, less than Stenum 2 plus less than Fe solid and less than aluminium. Factors that affect the quantity of product formed in electrolytic cell and explain the law or principle applied. Factors is duration or time taken for the process of electrolysis. Second factor is magnitude of electrical current. Principle apply is Faraday's first law. Definition for Faraday's first law, the amount of product form, mass of substance or volume of gas liberated is directly proportional to the quantity of electrical charge passed through or during electrolysis. So mass is directly proportional to the Quantity of electrical charge. Calculate Faraday's constant from experiment. In an electrolysis of aqueous chromium salt, a current of 0.04 ampere is passed for 15 minutes 27 seconds. The mass of chromium deposited is 6.64 times 10 to the power of negative 3 gram. Find the value of Faraday's constant. So first, we determine the quantity of electric by using the formula Q is equal to IT. So I is equal to 0.04 ampere. Time is 9 to 7 seconds. So we get uh, 37.08 column. Next, determine the number of mole of chromium deposited. Mole of chromium deposited is 6.64 times 10 to the power of negative 3 gram divided by molar mass of chromium 52 gram per mole. So we get 1.277 times 10 to the power of negative 4 mole. So we know that 1.277 times 10 to the power of negative 4 mole chromium need 37.08 C column. So, 
to deposited one mole of chromium. So it needs two nine zero three six eight column. So we can write the equation Cr three plus equals plus three mole of electron is equal to one mole of chromium. So from here we know that three electron is equal to three Faraday is equal to one mole of chromium. So one mole of chromium equal to three Faraday. So equal to two nine zero three six eight column. So, 3 Faraday is equal to 290368 column. So, for 1 Faraday, we get 96789 column. So, this is the value of Faraday uh, from experiment. That's all for today. Thank you.